What skill do you? Me? Yeah. Squeezing. Okay. Well, Passing. Shooting. Flourish. Okay. <laughs> What's the meaning of snow? <laughs> Mickey and. Okay, sure. It's right here. All right. The ability to do something well. And it's like Ben Say said, all right, uh, skating, the basic fundamentals. You got to have the basic fundamentals. And it starts at a young age. All right. So what I do now, all right, Ugye ez valamilyen fajta képesség, hogy valami jól tudjunk kivitelezni, és ez egészen az alapoknál kezdődik, amit fiatal kortól kezdve kell gyakorolni, mint például a korcsolyázás. In the past, mi jellemezte a múltat? All right, you're looking at the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. All right, and you look at those names, all superstars. Ha megnézzük a különböző évtizedek szupersztárjait, látunk itt néhány nevet. And all with a great skill set. Mi mindegyik kiváló készségekkel rendelkezett. All right. Crosby, probably the best player in the world right now. I'm not gonna say Ovechkin. It doesn't matter. He's one of the best players in the world right now. Yeah, Crosby, yeah, and the Vilag is the best player in the world. I'm not gonna say Ovechkin. It doesn't matter. He's one of the best players in the world right now. Yeah, Crosby, yeah, and the Vilag is the best player in the world. I'm not gonna say Ovechkin. It doesn't matter. He's one of the best players in the world right now. Yeah, Crosby, yeah, and the Vilag is the best player in the world. I'm not gonna say Ovechkin. It doesn't matter. He's one of the best players in the world right now. Yeah, Crosby, yeah, and the He was out there 30 minutes before the team went out there for practice. Although he was out there for 30 minutes before the team went out there for practice. By himself, alone, and just shooting pucks, taking pucks off the boards. He just looked at the cupboard, 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 the At a certain level. Azt mondta, hogy folyamatosan fejlesztenem kell a készségeimet, hogy a játékom az mindig a legjobb. So it doesn't matter if it's young kids or if it's pros, you got to still always work on your skill set. Nem számít, hogy gyerekekről van szó vagy a világ legjobb profi játékosairól, folyamatosan dolgozni kell a készség fejlesztésén. And you got to find the time, because during the season. You don't always have the time. És erre ki kell szakítani az időt, akár mennyire is a versenyprogram sem. Okay. Now I'm going to show you one club of a player. From a young age, I had this dream of being Gordie Howe and playing in the NHL. And along came this kid, Gilbert Perot, and. He would pick up the puck, and nobody could get the puck from him. And I remember thinking, "Wow, this guy's special." And if I couldn't get number nine, I wanted number one pick in 1970. With the spin of a wheel, the NHL's newest team won the number one pick and selected Perot. Famous for his end-to-end -end rushes, Perot's dazzling offensive ability was on full display in his rookie season, leaving the fans of Buffalo astonished. Gilbert Perot. Behind the net, he can go through the goalkeeper. I've seen a lot of good hockey players in the league, but I've never seen a puck handler like Gilbert Perot. I don't know if there was anyone with better lateral movement, the zigzag, the stop and go, the hands moving as quick as the feet, or vice versa. Now, you look at that clip, all right, and you look at a player like Gilbert Perot. Yeah, make this just a click bet. Make this just a yatek or spell. Okay, and already back then. He had an unbelievable skill. The man of Korta, it is an unbelievable skill. And compared to the other players, and you looked at the highlights, like some of them looked like cones. But you might need to look at these kind of skills that they had. The players were looking like they were going to be like cones. It's like probably, most probably, like the best player in the world, one of the best players in the world, Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr, I mean, I can't believe it. And you look at those clips. It looks like he's skating, and the other guys are walking on ice. Úgy tűnt, mint hogyha ő korcsolyázna, a többiek pedig sétálnál a lejjel. But now, now, de ma, alright, we're looking at players from 18 to 22, what you're going to see right now. Mindjárt 18 és 22 közötti játékosokról látunk videót. And you're going to see a big difference. Csak óriási különbséget fogunk látni. And these players, at this age already, are dominating the national hockey. És már ebben a korban ezek a játékosok meghatározó játékosokkal válaszolnak. So we'll take a look. I'll let it go. Good shot, nice. Okay. 
as a giveaway at the middle. Myers shoots the scores. Seconds to go on the power play. Harris brings it back to Barnard. Barnard shoots the line. Tara Monnet against Shallow. Aho closes. The shot scores. Williams up but not out. Pasternak to Marcia to Pasternak. The shot scores. Back to Rick Nash. Marcia to Grizzly to Pasternak. He scores. Collects the puck. Crew to hold in his one timer scores. Jake DeBrus ties it. There. Gretchen twirls it. There's Spooner. He's got the puck. Charging with it. He scores. <laughs> Chops it up towards the corner. Skinner after pocket pick. Cleanly by Ehlers. Gets it out in front. Play he scores! Ehlers for Buckley. Cross ice to Lyon. He scores! Buckley winds it in. Finds the far side. And the Jets have tied this game up 2-2. Exceptional. Slay drop down on the stick of Nikolai Ehlers. Ehlers in and goes for Shifley and Wheeler, and Ehlers connects with his 16th of the year, and this game... Get up ahead, takes the return feed, and Matthews out through center, down that right-hand side, looking around, wheels and deals, cuts it from the head, scores! He's parted for him, he can't steal from the blue line, William Nylander, nice pass, Matthews shoots, he scores! He's two for four. David. Scores! Now, the game has changed. Alright? Sokat változott a játék. But so have the kids. De a játékosok is. Now kids take everything through watching video. A lot of it. Ugye ma már a gyerekek videókon nőnek fel. Like, we're out there teaching them, okay, this is the way you shoot. Oda megyünk, megmutatjuk nekik, hogy kell lőni. And we're correcting them how to shoot. Kijavítjuk a mozgásokat. Then they go on computer, like iPad, belé, tablet belé. <coughs> right? And they come there and say, hey coach, you, shot, you showed me how to shoot. And there's a different version here. És a orrunk elé rakják a videót, és mutatják, hogy na hát ezen a videóban én egész máshogy látom, mint ahogy maga mutatta a mester. So, coaching kids now. It's become much more difficult also. And you gotta find a way where they have fun, they enjoy coming to the ring, you use different tools to show them. And most important, positive. I'm gonna give you a little story about my nephews. Az unoka öccseiről mond erői történetet. Not my cousins, my nephews. And uh, they both started playing at the same time. Mind a ketten ugyanakkor kezdtek. Alright. And what happened was, the first one found a youth coach that was positive, friendly, uh, you know, always having them have fun. De az egyik olyan egyszerűhöz került, aki mindig pozitív attitűdöt sugározott, a játékosok élvezték, amit csinálnak. And the second one, David, found a drill sergeant. A másik pedig egy ilyen katona típusú kiképző örmesterhez került. David quit playing hot at the age of 13. 13 évesen abban is hagyta a évkoromot. Never put on his skates again. Soha többé nem húzott kolcsaját. And still talks about it, he's 28, he still talks about it today. És 28 évesen még mindig ez az élmény felfeljön neki. And that's us in the room. We're dealing with kids. És itt a teremben is mi gyerekekkel foglalkozunk. Parents drop off their kids to the rink. Szülők kihozzák a pályára a gyerekeket. All right, and what they want to see, és mit akarnak látni? What they want to see is when their kids go home, they're happy that they can't wait to go back to the rink the day after. Azt, hogy mikor hazaviszik a gyereket, a srácok másnap is vissza akarjanak menni, alig várják a másnapi érzést. Okay, now getting back to here. How, when, and why this happened? Ugye visszatérve ide, érdemes feltennünk a kérdés, hogy hogyan, mikor és miért történt minden. You saw the difference in the clips, okay, times has changed, everything's changed, bigger, faster, more speed, we all know that. Ugye látjuk a videót, meg a is tudjuk, hogy minden nagyobb lett, gyorsabb lett. Okay. 
1994, during the Salt Lake Olympics, USA Hockey and George Kingston also court, uh, coached in the DL, or uh, was the technical director, I think. They ran a they ran a study at the Olympics. Egy kutatást végeztek az olimpia folyamán. Right, and the study was to convince hockey people, talking USA Hockey, Hockey Canada, all the federations. All right, és Kanada szerte a a szövetségek szerte ez olyan ez a történet. Young players need more practice time and less standing around. És az volt a lényeg, hogy a fiatal játékosoknak több uh, időre van szüksége az edzésben, és kevesebb uh, átsorgásra. And that standing around, even today exists. És ez még ma is, igaz? You got 20 kids, van 20 gyerek. Have five stations on the ice, four stations on the ice, three stations on the ice. Legyen négy öt állomás. And let them go. És hajrá. Especially at a young age. Különösen fiatal korban. And like I said before, you're saying to somebody now, I'm going to go up to Tommy and say, Tommy, hey, listen, shoot this way, and then Tommy's going to come back the day after. Hey, listen, coach, I saw this highlight like that, and let, let them play. És hiába hívjuk oda a gyereket, magyarázzuk el neki, figyelj, ne így csinál, úgy csinál, holnap jönni fog és mutat egy videóklipet, ahol egészen máshogy látta. Hagyjuk játszani. You can teach them, you can show them, you can show them video, but they have to be free to do what they want. Oktathatjuk őket, taníthatjuk őket, mutathatunk nekik videót, de a legjobbat akkor tesszük, hogy ha hagyjuk, hogy uh, játszunk. Back in the hey days, back, when we were growing up, amikor ő nőtt, right, we didn't have this coaching, nem ez a fajta edzés. We didn't have this video, nem volt a két ilyen videó. All right, what we did have was a park, volt egy park, with maybe 40 people on the ice skating. Körülbelül 40 ember a jégen korcsolyázgatta. Going in all directions. Mindenki mindenfele. And firing pucks in all directions. És mindenki illövöldözött mindenfele. So you had to be ready. Készen kellett álljál. You know, you were out there, you knew, you, you better keep your head up. Tudtad jól, hogy ha ott vagy a záporozó korongok középpontjában, akkor jobb, ha figyelsz, mi történik körülötted. You can also get run over. Vagy akár leütköznek, elcsapnak. Okay, so, like I said, At that age, like especially 12, 13, 14, even younger, a lot of station works, a lot of small games. All right, so after the study, the bottom line was practice, not games. All right. Irányvonal, hogy az edzés a kulcs, nem a mérkőzés. The goal, fundamental skills. Az alapvető készségek fejlesztését illetően. The, during that, during that period, during the Olympics, ekkor tájt az olimpia alatt, they tested Jäger, they tested Matt Sundin, they tested Brian Leach, they tested uh, And they wanted to see how much time these players had the puck on their sticks in 60 minutes. These players, these players played an average of 20 minutes a game. During the game, all right, Sweden against Canada. Matt Sundin was the best player on the, on the ice. Sundin was the best player on the ice. Marcy, how much time do you think he had it, the puck on his stick? In 18 minutes of, of play. 18 minutes of play. 20 minutes? 20 minutes? You're not far off. Footsie? Footsie? He's not far off. He said 1-1. Yeah, he's not far off. I say 1-1. Minute, 45 seconds. Okay. He had the puck on his stick for a minute and seven seconds. Egy perc hét másodpercen át volt a birtokában a korong volt az ütőjén a korong. The whole game. Az egész mérkőzés. Egy perc. So, the bottom line, a lényeg mindenből. Now we get into the core of the presentation. És most érünk el az egész előadás a lényegi pontjaihoz. You gotta have a plan. Kell, hogy legyen egy terv. As coaches, you gotta have a plan, and you gotta surround yourself a plan with qualified people. Kell, hogy legyen egy terved edzőként, 
és szakképzett munkatársak talpják körülbennek maradat. All right. What qualities of leadership? Legyenek meg a vezetői kvalitások. Now all coaches are different. Minden edző persze más. So if the coach is a hard ass, hogyha az edzőnek nehéz a természete, I don't think he's going to go get a hard ass assistant. Akkor nem ilyen típusú segít. He's going to try to balance off the staff. Ki kell egyensúlyozni ezeket a jellemvonásait az edzői stábnak. And same with the goalie coach. Ez hasonlóképpen igaz a kapus edzőre. The video coach, which is important nowadays. A video elemzőre, ami egyre fontosabb manapság. All right, your conditioning coach. Az erőléti edzőre. And at the end, the boss is the head coach. A főnök a vezető edző. Because if we, if things go bad, he gets fired. Hiszen, ha nem jól mennek a dolgok, őt fogják először kilózni. So he's got to overlook everybody. He's got to, it's, bottom line is, he's going to go through an interview. He's going to talk to people. He's going to get information. If he likes you, you might get the job. If you don't like you, és ugye, hogy fogja kiválasztani a stábjának a tagjait, interjúkat készít, beszél a leendő jelöltekkel, és hogyha szimpatikusnak talál, állást fog neked kínálni, ha nem nem. Now you're going to tell me, well, we're working with kids, and we don't have that staff. Persze most mondhatjátok, hogy a gyerekekkel végzett munka során nincs ilyen kiterjedt edzői stáv. Like a lot of us, I did the same thing. I had, I was working with kids, I didn't have a staff. Ugye, amikor ő volt utánpótlás edző, soha nem volt uh, stábja. So you gotta find here. Meg kell találni. Even volunteers. Akár önkénteseket. Volunteers that if their kids are on the team, you gotta make it sure that they don't Ugye persze nagyon fontos, hogyha önkéntesekről van szó, hogy ha a saját gyerekei is ott van a csapatban, akkor arra azért nagyon oda kell figyelni. And also, All right. The coach should also force the organization that now the way hockey's going now, like this is important. És magának az edzőnek is a klub vezetők felé azt az üzenetet egyre markánsabban el kell jutatni, hogy a felé megy a jégkorong vagy edzői stábok dolgozik. And you gotta convince the organization to see what they can do to help you. És meg kell győzni a klub vezetőket arról, hogy erre áldozzanak erőfor. In North America, a lot of teams, all right, they do fundraising. Észak-Amerikában nagyon sok csapat forrásgyűjtésbe kezd. This year, with my junior team in Ambry, what I did was with the sweater, our, our practice jersey, I went out, and I went out to ask restaurants and uh, places I knew if they could give me, like I'll put publicity on their sweater to raise some money so I can use it to maybe bring in a goalie coach or a skills coach or a conditioning coach. Ő most Svájcban is a saját utánpótlás csapatánál körbejárta a helyi vendéglátóhelyeket, kis vállalkozásokat, és megpróbálta meggyőzni őket, hogy az edzőmezen vásároljanak reklámfelületet, és ezt a pénzt, amit így felhajtott, azt a saját stábjának a bővítésére fordított. Because if you're just going to coach, all right, and you're going to go in, coach and leave, well, that's, that's not enough anymore in minor hockey. Mert hogyha úgy fogjuk fel a saját edzői szerepünket, hogy oda megyünk, megtartjuk az edzést, aztán hazamegyünk, és ezzel letudva a munka, akkor az a kor követelményeért már nem felelnek. Time and energy. Time and energy. Idő és energia. Oké? Ez az, amit beletetek. All right. Leadership qualities. Beszéljünk a vezetői kvalitásokról. You gotta have a vision. Kell, hogy legyen egy jövőképe. All right. You gotta have passion for the game. Szenvedély a játékére. Your weekends don't exist. Olyan, hogy hétvége, olyan nem létezik. All right, you might be a taxi driver bringing kids home after the games. Lehet egy taxi sofőr, aki hazaviszi a gyerekeket a meccs után. It's almost like a 24/7 job. Ez egy ilyen napoli munka. All right. Objective: you love the game, learn, fun, and you gotta, and you gotta yourself as a person. You gotta push this towards the kids. You gotta have, you gotta show them, you gotta show them that you love being with them. Én nagyon fontos célok, hogy megszeretessük a játékot, és mi magunk is szeressük egy tanítást, egy tanulást lehetővé tevő közeget teremtsünk, ahol mindenki jól érzi magát, és ezt nekünk magunknak is sugározni kell a játékosok felé. And I go back to my nephew. És hadd térek vissza akkor a... Especially nowadays. Especially nowadays. A, a, a családtartó, ugye manapság. Okay. You walk around in the lobby, and you might see kids that are already on their iPhones playing games. Ja, ha itt kimegyünk a gyerekeket, ha éppen látjuk akár a halban, a telefonjukat fogják piszkálni, játszanak valamit. You go to a restaurant, you go to a shopping center, same thing, they're on their phones, playing games or whatever. Ugyanezt látjuk az éttermek, vagy bevásárlók központokban, mindenhol. So, if I'm coming to practice, 
12, 13, 14 years old, like my nephew, and I got somebody yelling at me all the time. Hogyha kimegyek az edzésre, és 12-14 éves vagyok, és valaki állandóan üdöltözik vele. And I got a choice. You know what? I can have fun with the video games. I'll call myself uh, Fred over. Fred, come over. Look, we're going to play this game, this card game. Akkor inkább azt fogom választani, ha tehetem, hogy videójátékozok egy barátommal. What are you going to choose? Nyilván melyiket választom? Üdöltözzenek velem, vagy videójátékozok? Am I going to go to the rink and get yelled at? At the under 12, under 14 all the time? 11, 12 éves, 13 éves gyerekként állandóan kiabál velem valaki. Or spend time with my friends and do something where I enjoy doing. Vagy inkább baráti körbe olyat csinálok, ami belőle mehet velem. Melyiket választ? I think the choice is pretty easy. Nyilván, könnyű lesz a választás a gyereknek. And, and like I said, in today's society, és ahogy már korábban is mondtam, a mai társadalomban, it's getting harder and harder. Ez egyre nehezebb lesz. Edzőt. Now, talking about the plan, all right? From beginners to pros, and I don't want to talk about Europe, all right, and North America. I don't want to do that right now. All right, because wherever you are now, all right, you got to have a plan. You got to plan your practices weekly. You got to plan your practices monthly. You got to have a yearly plan. Kell, hogy legyen egy heti, havi, éves edzésterve. This I'm going to take out for a second, and I'm going to go with the plan is with learning objectives. És az a kulcs, hogy ilyen tanulási célokat rendeljünk a edzéstervhez. And this is really important. Ez rendkívül fontos. It's not because I played on the weekend, on Saturday and Sunday, I had a bad weekend. No, my plan was prepared for the week, so I make a big X here. No, I got to change everything because we they scored on three two on ones. Az nagyon fontos megérteni, hogy a hétvégén kikapunk vagy valami, akkor nem az a megoldás, hogy az egész edzést tervet kidobjuk a kukában, ott van a rossz volt. And in that plan, like weekly, you're working on skill. All right, you're having them develop. You're working on your skating. You're working on your passing. You're working on your shooting. Hiszen ha tudod, hogy mind dolgoztál egész héten, milyen készségeket fejlesztettél, korcsolyázás, lövés, passzolás. And it's the same throughout the month. És ez igaz a havi edzés. You can incorporate in your practices station work. You can incorporate maybe 30 minutes before, like the goalies do sometimes. Like Yuka, I've seen Yuka going on the ice before specific trainings for the goalies. Ugye számos elemet be lehet iktatni az edzés programba, kapusok számára is. And it's always the same thing. At the end, what am I getting out of my practice? De mindig az a kulcs, hogy tudjam, hogy mit akarok kihozni abból az edzésből. And you're going to see, like, if you stick to the plan, you're going to see results. És hogyha tartod magad a tervedhez, tudod, hogy mit miért csinálsz, akkor annak meg is lesz az eredmény. If you continue changing, ha állandóan változtatgatod, you're not going to see the same results. Akkor nem lesz eredménye. Okay? Now here I put down group four to six training. Ugye, és akkor a csoportos edzésről egy kicsit. The other night, I got here on Saturday. Szombaton megérkeztem. Okay, I got here on Saturday, I checked into my room. Bejárkeztem a szállalára. Okay, uh, and I go to the ring. És kiment a pályára. I to see the practice. Megnéztem az edzés. I come back. Visszajöttem. I open my door. Kinyitottam. There's somebody else's bags in my room. És valaki másnak a táskáját, csomagját találtam a szobában. I'm wondering, am I in the wrong room? Azon gondolkodtam, hogy a rossz szobába jöttem. Oh, my stuff is here. Nem, mert a saját szobában is van. The right room. If you open the door, I'm in the right room. Jó helyen járok. It was my cousin. My cousin plays with the Italian national team, Giulio. Ugye Giulio, so they made a mistake at the desk. They thought there was only one Scandella, but there was two Scandella. So they. Azt hitték, hogy csak egy Scandella forog itt a szállodában. So we ended up in the same room. És ezért úgy hanapba a szobába adtam neki. And the hotel was full. És persze tele a szálloda. So I asked him. Megkérdeztem tőlük. He wanted to sleep, but I was asking him questions. Persze aludni akar, de én beszélgetést kezdtem egy esztem vele. I said, listen to me. I said, I'm older than you. All right. I never had your skill set. I said you grew up playing in North America. 
úgy nőttél fel, hogy Észak-Amerikában tanultad a játékot. I said you skate like the wind. Úgy korcsolázol, mint a szél. Alright, you got a decent skill set. Kiváló a bot technikát. I said, where did you learn that? Hol tanultad ezt? And he said to me, he said, Diego, he goes, like, as soon as we finish the season in Europe, when we're practicing five days a week, plus games, he goes, I don't want to see the ice. He also said that when we finished the season in Europe, when we were practicing five days a week, plus games, he goes, I don't want to see the ice. He also said that when we finished the season in Europe, when we were practicing five days a week, plus games, he goes, I don't want to see the ice. He also said that when we finished the season in Europe, when we were practicing five days a week, plus games, he goes, egy hónap szabadságot and then, and then my brother rents the ice. És utána mivel a testőnek van egy éppájája. Three on three, három a három ellen. We play. Csak játszottunk. Or vagy. We go out there. Kimentünk. We pass. Passzolgat. We skate. Kocsolyat. We shoot. Lőttünk. By themselves. Saját magunknak. But by themselves because they had the experience of coaches that ran them through drills. Természetesen azért tudták saját maguknak ezt megcsinálni, hiszen már volt az a tapasztalatuk a szervezet edzések által, amire én tudták, hogy mit kell csinálni. This North America is yeah, becoming very, very important, like there a lot of pros are doing it. És ezt rendkívül sok profi játékot csinálja, ez egyre fontosabb. And this is even off ice to the on ice. És ez igaz, a jeges és a jégen kívüli edzés is. Száraz edzés. Okay. Now we get into the monthly plan. Nézzük meg akkor a havi tervezést. And this is, okay, this is uh, my club. Ugye ez az ő saját klubja. All right, and like, this is the month of June. Ez június. Because what happens is we, we finish the season in April. Áprilisban befejeződik a szemben. They get four weeks off. Négy hét szabadság. And this is the difference. És ez a különbség. In Europe to North America. Európa és Észak-Amerika közt. Most teams get together again and they start training right away. Ugye ott a legtöbb csapat azonnal újra elkezdi az időt. So, And the same with the kids. We start. I finish here now on Sunday. I start May second. I'm working with minor hockey this year. I start May second with my kids. And here, same thing. You got a plan. And it doesn't matter. You can say, okay, that Thursday we're gonna work on running sprints. Most minden csütörtökön teszem az az lesz a feladat, hogy futás, sprinten. Second day, okay, we're gonna go into the gym. Második nap, do some gym work. Konditer. All right. Third day, well, you know what? We're gonna go out in the parking lot. Harmadik nap, kimegyünk a parkba. With a tennis ball, tennis labda, or whatever, street ball, and practice different skills. Egy gyakorlunk különböző késeket. And it's like that the month of June. Június. May, June, until middle of July. És egészen júli közepéig. And then we get to a break. And then we start up again on the ice. Now is this? I'm saying is this written in stone? No. Is it clear by the ancient mold? Sir, no. Right? Like at a certain age, you can have to make decisions. Bizonyos korban már az embernek magának kell meghozni a bizonyos döntéseket. So it goes back to what I said before. Kids are having fun. Visszanyúlik oda, amit korábban említett, a gyerekek élvezik a munkát. And it's a fun environment and a working environment. Olyan a környezet, ahol jól érzik magukat. They're gonna come. Akkor el fognak jönni az edzés. They're gonna be part of that group. Részei lesznek ennek a csapatnak. I'm gonna show you a couple of videos here now. Most néha egy videó jön.
know what that was? Yeah. Can you know what that's? McDavid. That's Connor McDavid. Connor at the McDavid. age of 13 years old. He's a half All right, and you see a lot of this stuff even in Europe now. But what I was noticing is, it's not that there was somebody always there correcting him what he had to do. Nem állt a nyakán valaki állandóan magyarázta, hogy mit nem jól csinál. You know, and, and that's sometimes, I think, one of the biggest problems now, és sokszor all right, is that we're trying to solve every little problem for them. Hogy minden apró problémát meg akarunk oldani a gyerekek számára. You know what? They gotta figure it out. Rá fognak jönni meg, hogy hívjuk el. When you're on the ice, okay, and you've got the skills, everything's easier. Amikor a jégen vagyunk, és már rendelkezünk a megfelelő készségekkel, minden könnyű. If you don't have the skills, ha nem, you fall behind. Akkor le fogunk maradni. And eventually, you're going to be really behind. Vagy igazán hátul fogunk kurogni. I talked to you about Sandin before. Szóval került már Sandin. You're talking about a player first, second minor. Első, második sor a sárkányos. The question is, how do you improve the skill of a third, fourth liner if the first guy's got a minute of ice, a minute of a puck possession on his stick? Az a nagy kérdés, hogyan tudjuk a harmadik, negyedik soros játékosaink készségeit fejleszteni, hogyha még az első soros szuperstárunknak is az ütőjén csak egy percet van akarom. What do you do? Mit lehet tenni? I'm open for suggestions. What do you do with your third, fourth liners? Mit kezdjünk a harmadik, negyedik soros játékosokkal? Bár... How are they gonna? How are we gonna close the gap? Hogyan tudjuk csökkenteni From your fourth, third liner to your first liner. Az első soros és a negyedik soros játékosaink készségeit. Same thing with the kids. Persze ez a gyerekeknél is ugyanígy van. You got a kid that's up here, and you got a kid here, same age. Vannak ugyanolyan korú játékosok, az egyik nagyon ügyes, a másik kevésbé. What are you going to do with the kid that does has the less skill? Mit csináljunk a kevésbé ügyes gyerekkel? How is he going to improve? Hogyan fejleszik? Hogyan fog fejlődni? Any one of those groups during the summer. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Don't be afraid. It's not an exam. What? Give them extra practice. Show them ways that they can improve. Give them extra time. Let them do things that will help them specialize in what he's missing. Specifikus munkával adunk nekik lehetőséget arra, hogy fejleszik a kérdéseket. That's what Glenn just said right now. Amit Glenn most mondott. All right, and that's everywhere. Mindenhol ez van. A lot of coaches are already at the minor level working with kids are more worried about the results of the game than improving the kids developing. Sajnos ugyanis nagyon sok edző után ott lesz szinten is, sokkal inkább az eredménnyel foglalkozik, sem mint a gyengébb játékosainak a fejlesztése. If I don't win the game, I'm going to get fired. Mondván, ha nem nyerek, ki well, fogok rúgni. Well, I'm going to give you a secret. If you're a coach, you're going to get fired sooner or later. Hadd áruljon el egy titkot, az edzőt mindenképpen kirúgják előbb. This year in Ambry, Mosquito, Mosquito coach, working with kids 12-13 years old. 12-13 éves edzője. Won the championship. Megnyerte a bajnokságot. All right. Ten days ago, he got his letter. You're fired. Tíz nappal ezelőtt kirúgták. Don't worry about the results at the head of each. Utánpont lesz szinten, ne az eredményen görcsön. The result is, at the end of the season, when you've got a kid who can't skate, at the end of the season, you say, holy smokes, look at the improvement of little Johnny here. Mert az igazi eredmény az az, hogy a szezon előtt az a gyerek, aki alig tudott korcsolázni, a szezon végére egész ügyesen megy. And then little Johnny, because he's having fun and he's improving, he's going to want to come back. És ez a gyerek, ez majd mivel élvezi, ami történik, látja magán is a fejlődést, újra vissza akar jönni egyszer. And then what Glenn said, és amit Glenn mondott. All right. And what's your name? Sorry. Mark. And then like Mark said, he's going to ask his parents at 14-15. Hey, you know what? I want to go to that hockey camp this summer. évesen majd a szüleit meg fogja kérni, hogy hadd menjen el egy edzőtáborba, egy nyári táborba. Because now he loves the game. Mert most már szereti, amit csinál, szereti a jégkorongozást. And that comes from in here. És ez rajtatok múlik. I had coaches who hit me in the ass with a stick. Voltak olyan edzőim, akik a fenekemre csaptak az ütővel. Yell for 60 minutes. 60 percen át üvöltöztek. But because I love the game. 
De mivel én egyébként szerettem a And I was with my brothers and sisters and stuff like that. És ott volt a testőm, a nővérem, so I didn't quit. Ezért nem hagytam. I'm 54. Most már négy vagyok. I'm still doing what I love doing, which I don't call a job, I call it a hobby. És még mindig azt csinálom, amit imádok, ami nem is munka nekem, hanem egy hobbi. I leave the house, I got a headache. Amikor kilépek otthonról, I got a brother, two sisters. I got a headache, I go to work, I love going to work. És fáj a fejem, imádom a munkámat. My brother, 30 years for one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in Canada. My two sisters, uh, one works in the office, one works uh, as a secretary. They all hate going to work. Testvérem egy gyógyszergyárnál dolgozik, nővérem irodai munkát végez, utálják a munkáját. You gotta love your job. Szeretnedek kell a munkát. And you gotta bring this to the kids. És ezt a gyerekek felé is közöltenek. All right. Now I'm going to show you a little video on our. Uh, You, know, you might like this, Yuka. Our uh, goalies, all right, at the pro level, individual, what I've said before, that thing from four to six, all right, we have four goalies doing specific work with their goalies. <laughs> Like I said before, and you could, can tell you this. Goalies also have their own programs. Nekik is megvan a saját edzésed. And they got to work on their own skills. És nekik persze a saját készségei fejlesztésén kell dolgozni. So what I showed you before with the coaching staff, your goalie coach. Amint az edzői stáb összetételére mutatta, és a kapus edzők ilyen. It's really important. Nyomatékosítja. Right now. Some stuff we do with the first team. Is it because I should chop up? And this is conditioning. We know it's conditioning. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Is it all hala? Is it good now? Yeah, I got. You guys didn't notice that's the front of Yukas. Um, all right, same before, okay? Yeah, working on conditioning, but you're working on strides. Working on strides, you bring that off ice stuff to the on ice. Nyilván ez az előlétet fejlesztő gyakorlat, de látjuk, hogy a korcsoljázó lökés mozdulat fejlesztésében is segít, és így kötődik össze a szárazon végzett munka a jeges munka. So, a lot of the stuff you do off ice, you just transform it to the ice. Száraz edzések így transformálhatóak a jégre. And it's the same thing with the kids. És ugyanez a gyerekekkel. All right, that 30 minutes before you go on the ice, and you do something specific, you're going to bring that to the ice. Hogyha 30 perccel a gyerekeknél is a mérkőzés előtt mondjuk, vagy az edzés előtt valamit csinálsz, az át tudod vinni a jégre. Another one here. This is the team. There's crossovers going up. Stairs. Yeah, that goal is the motivation. Exactly. That's why we go there. That's motivation. Yeah, the motivation. The motivation is the thing. And now we get to August, September. Okay, and here. Okay, saying we play two games a week. Had to get match. All right. What would happen is we skate maybe saying for sure on Mondays. All right, we get an off-ice workout, an on-ice workout. Yeah, here should be one Saturday and Sunday. All right, on Tuesdays we skate in the morning, and in the afternoon we'd have a skill practice. Get them. The other day at this day, we'd have a kitchen practice. And okay, now with the kids, because they're they're going to school. You want to get them to school? All right. You see that you can get them in the morning if they're close to school. When you're at school, if they're close, then they can come to the school. Or during the holidays. Soon enough, we'll come. Or before practice, if you're going to get an extra 15-20 minutes. Okay, it's a little bit easier to start. And you go out there and you work on your skills. Ki hasítani és akkor lehet a kisek felesztésen dolgozni. Are there any questions? Van egy kérdés. Okay.
And this is just a nice schedule. Yes, right? I All right. And it's and this is like all the teams. Now we got them here like in August now. Like the top teams going twice. Our junior teams going twice, and juniors are already coming to the rink at the six o'clock in the morning. Right, so they come at six. They finish at seven thirty. Right, then they go home. They get a lunch. They get some rest because they're not in school. Right, and then they come back again at night. So that's where you divide it. And that's where I was talking to you about your weekly plan, monthly plan. You got to have a plan. You're going to have something objective. Okay, this is what we're working on this morning. And don't be too strict on them. I want to go back to that. Don't be too strict on them and say you got to do it this way, you got to do it that way. Let them figure it out. Two on one, three on two. There's, there's no specific way. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. They gotta figure out what's the best play. Kettő az egy három, kettő ellen is nincsenek kövérések, nagy igazságok. Jöjjenek rá maguknak. I'm gonna leave you with this. This is the last clip. Az utolsó videó jön. And if there's any questions, I'll take some questions. És persze ha kérdés van, akkor nagyon szívesen vagyok. This player here made a choice. All right, and he took a different path. Right, and just listen to what he says. Matthew's hockey journey has been unconventional. At 16, he moved to Michigan to play for the U.S. National Development Team. Matthews then made the groundbreaking decision to forego playing in either the NCAA or the CHL. Here's an interesting little story for you. Austin Matthews will play in Switzerland next season. The American-born center opted to sign a one-year deal with the ZSC Lions. We're always about with are the best options for our, for our players, and we were looking for a place where he could challenge himself a little bit more. Perhaps Mark Crawford is an experienced NHL coach who's been there for years, and he, he could help him in his development. And the bottom line for all this is when we presented this to Austin, he was ready for the challenge. Making that transition over this year and, and kind of looking back on it now that the season is over, it was, it was definitely a, you know, a great experience for myself. And I feel like I learned a lot there. And you know, if I had to do it over again, I definitely would. Yeah, everyone has a different road to get to where they are. And you know, he's picked uh, kind of the you know, unbeaten path, kind of. It's, it's a little bit new and, and different. Top of the Torschützer, Austin Matthews. With 46 points in 36 games, Matthews proved he made the right decision. And while he may have been out of sight for most fans, he is an exceptional talent, the consensus number one, who will make one team very happy they won the lottery. He was a great kid. He's going to bring a lot to a team. He's uh, competitive. He works hard. He's dedicated to the game. And he's going to come right in and, and obviously make an impact. He shows you something different every game, whether it's his power moves to the net, his speed through the neutral zone, his ability to adjust uh, to defensive tactics, and actually his awareness in the defensive zone. Good. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh no. Jeff, general manager, Kevin Chevaldeo, Maple Leaf president, Brenda Chanahan, and Austin Matthews in Finland look to Bill Daly to reveal who will win the first overall selection. Bill? The first overall selection in the 2016 NHL draft belongs to the Toronto Maple Leafs.
else so known in spite of the fact that some people still think that they know him but fuck him he knows the code it's not about the salary it's all about reality and making some noise making a story making sure his click stays up that means when he puts it down time to making it up let's go this in any way he never really talks much never cause no status was still even his thoughts struck humble through opportunities given despite the fact that many misplaced because he makes a nip from right and right so he together himself the picture connects never ask him for some self cut and get some respect he's only focused on what he wrote he's a little bit your own priest and now we're all on the floor he's still up in the office this is 20 percent skill 80 percent fear be a hundred percent clear cause pride was ill who would have thought he'd be the one that set the west in flames and i heard a record with the crystal method name of the game came back and dropped back all right i got a question for you Okay, this. What are the, some of the problems that you guys face with? Mik azok a fő problémák, amelyek az emberek utánpótláskor a gyerekek edzések van? Am I the only guy who's got problems with my my parents? Nekem vannak nehézségek problémáim. Lack of staff members. Lack of staff members. Lack of staff members. Lack of staff. So that's see like parents' expectations. Besides, besides saying they find a drill sergeant coach, they might have, have at home parents who put too much pressure on. Ugye a gyerekek számára az különösen nehéz helyzet, hogyha van egy ilyen kiképző mester jellegű edző, és aztán a szülők otthon is. So now, so now, little David is really having a lot of fun. Most a gyerek hogy érezze az edzést, hogyha az edző is... Going to the rink, got somebody yelling at me. Going to the home, I got my dad saying, uh, you didn't score, uh, uh, you gotta wake up, don't pass the puck. Az edző ordibál a gyerekkel, utána hazamegy, akkor még az apuka is mondja az okosságait. Hogyan várjuk el, hogy a gyerek élvezze? These are some of the problems we face. És ezek valós húsvét problémák. And that's why your role is so important. És ezért annyira fontos az edző és az edző szerepe. You know, lack of ice time. Kevés égidő. I've heard that one a lot. Persze, nagy gond. You gotta find different ways, find the gym, uh, bring him swimming, have him do different sports. Meg lehet találni a kerülő utakat az edzés összerakásában, esetleg elvinni őket uszodába, találni egy külső konditervet. Erre van meg olyan. Nikolai Ellers, Winnipeg Jets. Ugye a Winnipeg Jets játékos Ellers? Played junior hockey in Switzerland. His dad's coaching in Switzerland, he played junior hockey. His dad wasn't coaching. Ugye, Svájcban volt utánpontás játékos. I asked him at a coaching clinic, in uh, Switzerland, I asked the father, I said, uh, how did Nikolai become the way he became? And he said, well, he used to come to the rink with me every day. I'd be running practice and he'd be watching practice. Hogy az apja is egyző, tehát ők megtartottam az edzést, megnézte az edzésem. Then he practiced with his own team. Aztán az egy saját csapatával is edzett. He'd finish practice, he goes and uh, then I'd pick him up and I'd bring him to play soccer. So other sports aren't that bad. It doesn't have to be like Mash our program. Like if somebody asked me about my program, I, I want to change it. I want to change my program. I want him having do other sports. Mert azt szeretném, hogy a játékosok más sportágokat is kipróbálják. Because I think it helps. Mert szerintem ez segít. And not always being there on top, being at the rink, being at the same place. Hogy ne csak állandóan a jégpályán legyenek, állandóan ugyanazon a helyen. But I got the problem of my organization saying, well, you have to do it this way. Csak hát ott van a saját klubom, amely számomra bizonyos kereteket szak, hogy már pedig így kell csinálni. And that's where I got to take a stand. És itt ki kell állnom magam el. Which I do. És meg is teszem. I'm not fired yet. <laughs> but anyways, thank you very much. Right.